Okay, let me take you through my standard template as far as like summing. Recently, I limit myself and I find great results on dedicate eight output and keep eight for anything that I wanna leave outside of the colors. Let me explain what that means. So nine and 10 is my kick bus. Eventually, the one and two might be the bass bus, but I like to keep one and nine and 10 as a kick bus. 13, 14 is my everything else or everything else plus low percussion and 15, 16 high percussions. So what I mean everything else is music, stabs, chord, piano, effects, everything. Um, based on the song, I might route the low perk with the high perk on the 15, 16, or keep the low perk with the music. Uh, normally, mono, kick, and kick, where by default, I lower my DAW minus 6 dB to make sure that I'm not changing the gain structure. And then uh, the harmonics sit 99.9% .9 of the time in 13, 14. And then my percussion with a pattern limiter and most of the time using expansion on the DAW to compensate if I need to. In the X form, it's a case by case, go with the feeling type of approach uh, based on the song. Uh, most of the time I use an insert, might be just one single unit or a dangerous compressor or an SSL compressor or a mix of both. Let's play some music. I like to find first the tone that, that I want, and then I'm using in the box um, expansion to kind of take back and give back transient or reduce the compression that I'm getting on the kind of decay and sustaining decay of the, the envelope on the drums. So let me solo really quick uh, what I'm processing with a paralimiter to give you an idea. So to drums. Okay. You just gotta realize. Interesting because when you start to add different tone and colors, almost you're getting the X form to be kind of as a finisher for everything else. That's why I like to add this later on the on the mix, where this is just like the tone, um, and then I might mix in the box through that. But this is like almost like a little finisher, and I feel I go with the feeling when I feel is there is there, and then post this. I'm now I'm thinking about how it can go out of the two bus plus and come back with any piece of gear to enhance even more. So that's kind of like my normal flow.
my external insert goes into liaison and now I have several options. And then if I decide to do um, some uh, dangerous compressor uh, on drums, uh, with the liaison also I can route on different buses. So this goes into the to bus plus, but then it, let's say if I'm splitting between different units, I can also send some of those post uh, to bus plus, some in the to bus plus. So let's say dangerous into bus plus, and then I have my vintage Neumann EQ, might be post. Uh, I like to do that. Or certain cases, I even do creative stuff where I do two compressor, and then I flip between the two to see what works best to go uh, SSL into the dangerous or dangerous into the SSL. Um, I like to use parallel uh, on the SSL. And then again, I go by feelings, you know, I use it almost like a gain staging opportunity to, to kind of blend some compression into the mix. And then I'm testing and make sure this sounds good. So let's try that. <laughs> And again, it's almost like a relationship between these two. I feel that if I want to get the X-former color and tone, I might do a little less compression. If I go frame from the X-former, I might do a little bit more compression. Um, but that's kind of like a, almost like step number two. Step number one, and then step number two, let's say, and probably step number three. And then between those two, it's just a relationship between those two. And I like to use the, the parallel, again, as a gain, as a gain. It's interesting because I'm getting the compression. I'm not really worried about the makeup gain of the actual compressor. I'm using this as a blending into the dry. 